Um, what comes to mind for me with you is abortion, right? Like, yeah. you know, abortions are happening all the time. And I think you have a pretty strong stance against abortion. So how do you go about navigating that in your life? Because to you, I'm sure abortion seems like some kind of like soft serve murder. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's about right. And, um, you know, the, it's, it's a complicated question because abortion is so institutionally and culturally ingrained. I mean, there are some Christians who like firebomb um, abortion centers. Um, I find that issue, I, I, assuming that there's nobody in the building at the time, I, I find that like a kind of a morally complex case. But um, it's so morally and institutionally ingrained in our society, unfortunately, that the only way to deal with it is to, you know, fundamentally change institutions and change culture. And the way you do that is through activism. You do that through trying to get involved in government and you do that through uh, speaking out. And I try to do all three of those things. And um, whenever it touches my life personally, um, I I plead with the person and I try to um, give them um, the best counsel I possibly can. And I don't, think don't this is where fundamental. Oh, sorry, John. I thought you ended. No, I that's think, it. <laughs> I think this is where fundamentalism stops. Right. I remember myself when I was religious, Jewish religious. I I I understood that constitutions, governments. That's the law. That's what I hold other people accountable to, and that religion is mine. It's my belief about the fundamental, like how the world works, what is right, what is wrong. But I can't make that decision for everybody else because the role of democracy, the role of government is to get along in spite of disagreements, not because of them. We need to get along despite the disagreements. And that's why we have democracy for. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm bumping up against you, Don Don, because you said something about how you don't want your life dictated by like other people's religious principles. Um, again, I'm, I'm not a fundamentalist who's going to attack people, but I would very much like to see the force of law prevent uh, this sort of thing. But you, um, but you wouldn't want to do it undemocratically, right? You wouldn't enact um, violence. That would be not ideal. Yes, I, I would not like to do it that well, way. Well, not ideal. I mean, John, John, it seems like John would be like, if it gets bad enough, it, it could cause a call to war, right? Um, I mean, you could you could envision a dystopian future where like ninety five percent of like all conceptions end in abortion, where you know I would consider maybe going oh. that, going that way, but I don't think we're there quite yet. But now, John, uh, uh, you know, killing in the name of of an idea is is always. Um, you know, something that you might reg regret because tomorrow you might change your mind about abortion. Yeah, but killing in the name of the and of an idea has also produced lots of good in the world. Um, war, yes, uh, like political yeah. revolutions yeah, yeah. have included, have improved civilization. And mm -hmm. while there's always that risk, um, this is why I, I abhor violence. I think war is evil fundamentally. There's just sometimes there are more evil options. Um, that so you happening. would point to World War II as an example where we killed... Yeah, exactly. Like, that war was evil. Everything that happened was horrific. But guess what? Not going to war was actually even worse. Um, well, I, th I think that we have to recognize that war is a byproduct of a situation that democratic means could not solve. Where right. the systems that we had in place could not have us cooperate with our disagreements. This is why we, we must create systems that allow us to work together despite our disagreements yeah but I, I think that i think that works and i like that but i do think there's a level of fundamental i feel like you can get disagreements that are fundamental enough that that stops working i don't think there is any amount of conversation so if if you don't have any shared ground on anything important on the value of um of life or um any other type of example you can name or the idea of human rights or something like that if you don't have shared ground conversation is going to fix it because you're not yeah but this is why it. but this is why the, there's things like you know borders communities i um, agree and, 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 and but, but there's one thing that we all do need to work on that's trade environment um uh, commerce like there are things that we just need each other to survive mm -hmm. and on those things we need to have a way of dealing with it no matter what your values yeah. are whatever I, that I, might I be totally agree um, but I will with, say, with that, I, with John, we with that we we're, we can talk about this forever and ever and yeah, ever and ever and ever. Yeah, sure. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go into the next topic, which is gonna involve a little Douglas Murray.